you know that I can never leave you guys hanging. I saw in your comments that, oh my goodness, can you guys please do a review on the Real Houses of Abuja? And it, that's what I'm bringing for you yeah, right now. But before I get into it, please make sure that you have subscribed. And if you haven't, just subscribe and also click on the notification button so you never miss on the content that we have for you. And I also need to put out a disclaimer that the views and opinions expressed in this review are my own and do not reflect the views of Fairy Tech Online TV. And of course, I can never forget to shout out on our main sponsor that is Fairy Tech IT Solutions. And of course, did I guys tell you we have a sister channel, Born Shaker TV, that is yet to give you educational programs. We're talking about investments, cooking shows, and of course, uh, tutorials that can help high school students. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you click, you search for Bonnie Shaker TV. Subscribe, like, and click on the notification buttons. So your girl here is bringing you the review on Real Housewives of Abuja as requested. Well, I've been watching it for the past few weeks and I feel like it's not giving, man. Like it's not giving the the tea. It's not giving the vibe. It's not giving the juice. But um, I have a few favorites or should I say, uh, yeah, I have a few favorites from uh, this reality TV. Um, I wouldn't want to compare but because I'm a human, I would have to compare. I wish that they could, the cast, excuse me, the cast would give us the flavor that the Real Housewife of Lagos uh, gave us. I mean, they were so spicy and things like that. But anyways, let me get into it. So we have our cast and in our cast we have, um, we have Tutu. Tutu Pai, and she is a certified chef and a event curator. Well, for me, she gives me the youngster vibes. You know, she gives me my kind of vibe. You know, she's chilled. She is outgoing. She is very expressive. But I also feel like she throws a lot of tantrums. You know, um, at some point when I'm watching, I'll be like, "Can you please grow up?" But I'm like, anyways, this is um. A reality TV, and we they have to express themselves as they were. But big ups to you, Tito Pai. You are loved by not me, but a lot of us. Then we have Samantha. Samantha is so quiet. At times, I even forget she is part of the show. Like, mm, even when she talks, it's as if she doesn't want to talk or she's tired. I don't know if it's because she has twins, you know, and I mean, is it twins or triplets? Well, guys, you will correct me there, but she always seems and looks tired. But um, I don't feel like her presence is even felt, you know, until she's there. Then you'll remember, oh, Samantha. And then we have Princess Yo Kosiam. Princess is a chatterbox, just like me. She talks a lot. She, at times, I feel like she's just everywhere, you know. And I'll be like, can you just shush a bit? And they'll be like, is this me? Is this how I am? Because I also know that I prat, prat, prat a lot. So, yeah. And then we have Pasharela. Oh, my word. <sighs> She's an entrepreneur. But honestly, she bores me. Like, when I say bores me, she bores me. Especially because I feel like she tries so much and her trying so much is not even visible she loves singing apparently and she's working on music but the whole don't every time she has to she says something it always has to end or be in musical notes girl we get it she have a good voice but can you please calm down on that of course, and then we have my faith, comfort, comfort booth. Well, they have given her the nickname Mummy OG, and she kind of doesn't like it, but oh well, I understand. But I also understand the banter around it. She 
is particular. She is lovely. Well, I love her. I feel like she is being herself. She's not trying to please anyone. And her style, um, I don't know if fashionistas call it eccentric or things like that. But yeah, even her hairstyle, she's, I think she's the oldest in the group. But the way she carries herself shows that she's being truthful to herself, even though others may not agree. But hello, this is your girl, Afia, so why wouldn't she agree with me? And then, last but not lastly, we have Arafa, and she is a mixed race, um, Tanzanian and Nigerian. She is beautiful, you know. I actually love her lips because she doesn't even need to have feelers on. Like, she is beautiful. She tells it like it is. And I like the fact that she is into pole dancing. And she changed the narrative of pole dancing to a lot of us. Not only me, because you guys know how we roll. We actually associate pole dancing with Asha war work and all those things. But she made it... When she introduced it to the girls, she was like, it's more about self-confidence. It's more about you as a woman, you know, expressing yourself and all those things. And I felt like that is good. Um, I've watched it. For me, I would give it um, uh, 5.5. Yeah, 5.5 out of 10. Um, I haven't really got to a point where I'd say I cannot wait to watch it because... I feel like everybody is scattered, you know, scatter, 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 tutu pie and her tantrums, like, hello. And I don't really like her diary sessions. I feel like they are too much. Um, comfort is so genuine. And I feel like she's carrying the show, you know, even though people feel like she's old and they will give her the name Mummy, m- Mama. Mami OG, but I feel like she she, ha- she she has the embodiment of grace, you know, class, beauty, elegance. And people don't, the, the other rest of the cast don't really understand that because maybe it's more like, yeah, the real house actually have to be wild. No, honey. Um, comfort is, for me, carrying the show. You know, she tries to... Gonja in like um. She um, embodies herself the way that she is. She's not, she doesn't hide herself. She doesn't even, you know, do all these back chats, this, uh, this and that. She is just herself and also willing to learn. Like, there are things that I feel like she allows herself to be in situations whereby. If it was just her alone, she wouldn't. She's willing to learn the things that she doesn't know or things like that. But anyways, um, what more would I say? Oh, OJ, I've said it about us, Samantha and the whole cast. I really, I also love, like, love, like, princess, but at the same time, she's too much. She talks too much. I wish you could just listen because, well, all the time, uh, it's her, it's all blah, 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 Drop some comments. Tell me what you think of the whole cast, you know. Tell me who brings out the best of you in the cast and who do you enjoy the most. With your girl, from your girl, Afia Adakwa, it's a TTFN tip. <laughs>